Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Lata Study Corner. Today we are going to discuss questions on teaching aptitude. So let's get started. So the first question is most important work of teacher is option A is given to organize teaching work. Option B is given to deliver lecture in class. Option C take care of children and option D to evaluate the students. So the most important work of the teacher is to organize teaching work like uh, preparing lesson plans, educating students at all levels, do their duties like uh, assigning homework, grading tests and documenting process and reaching students with increasing lessons plan. So option A is correct here. Now question 2. A teacher should be option A honest, option B delegate, option C dutiful, option D punctual. A teacher should be beautiful. Option C is correct here. Now coming to question 3. Environmental education should be taught in schools because option A it will affect environmental pollution. Option B it is important part of life. Option C it will provide job to teachers. Option D we can't escape from environment. So uh, Environmental education should be taught in school because option B is correct here. It is important part of life. Why? Uh, environmental education helps students to understand how their decision and action affect the environment, builds knowledge and skills necessary to address complex environmental issues as well as way we can take action to keep our environment healthy and sustainable for the future. So it's an important part of our life. So option B is correct here. Now coming to question 4. At primary level it is better to teach in mother language because option A it develops self-confidence in children. Option B it makes learning easy. Option C it is helpful in intellectual development. Option D it helps children in learning in natural atmosphere. So option D is correct here. Why? Uh, because mother tongue develops a child personal, social and cultural identity. Using mother tongue helps a child develop their critical thinking and literacy skills. Research shows that children learning in mother tongue adopt a better understanding of the curriculum. So option D is correct here. Now question 5. Women are better teacher at primary level. Because option A, they behave more patiently with children. Option B, they are ready to work with low salary. Option C, higher qualification is not needed in this profession. Option D, they have less chances in other profession. So, the question five, for the question five, the correct option is option A, they behave more patiently with children. You know, they have the ability to understand students' mental and emotional needs make a woman better choice for teachers in primary schools. They have a better understanding of child psychology. So option A is correct. Now question 6. What is most important while writing on blackboard? Is uh, option A good writing? Option B clarity in writing? Option C writing in big letters? Option D writing in small letters? So here option A is correct. Why? Um, a clear, a clean blackboard and a good handwriting are most important point to remember while using blackboard in classroom. Content should be visible to distant corner of the class. So option A is correct. Now question 7. A student comes late in your class then you will option A inform to parents. Option B punish him. Option C, try to know the reason. Option D, not pay attention there. So option C is correct. Try to know the reason when a student comes too late in the class. So option, now coming to question 8. When the students become failed, it can be understand that option A, the system has failed. Option B, the teacher's failure. Option C, the textbook failure. Option D, the individual student's failure. So when a student become failure it can be understood that the individual student failure so option D is correct here 
Now question number nine. It is advantage of giving homework that students option A remain busy at home, option B study at home, option C may be checked for their progress, option D may develop habit of self study. So homework helps student. Uh, you know homework helps student determine how well the lessons are being understood by uh, you know them. Homework teaches a uh, student how to solve the problem and you know homework gives student another opportunity to review class material so the correct option is it may develop habit of self study now coming to question number 10 the success of teaching is option a high achievement of student option b good traits of his or her personality option c his or her good teaching option d his or her good character so a success of teaching is uh, like a successful teacher is the teacher whom the student remember with great pleasure knows how to teach well in such a way that uh, each student understand it is that the teacher who teaches clearly briefly on that subject so the correct uh, answer of this is option C the success of teaching is his or her good teaching now question number 11 a uh, Deepavali fair is being organized in your school. What would you like to do? Option A. Only to visit the fair. Option B. To take part in function. Option C. To take a shop to sell something. Option D. To distribute free waters to visitors. The correct answer of this is to take part in the function. So option B is correct. Question number 12. The most important trait of a student is option A, sense of responsibility, option B, to speak truth, option C, cooperation, option D, obedience. So, option D is correct here. A most important trait of a student is to obey. So, the answer is obedience here. Now, question 13. The purpose of basic education scheme is option A. Universalization of primary education. Option B to vocalize the education. Option C to fulfill basic need of person through education. Option D to make education compulsory for all. So option C is correct here. The purpose of basic education scheme is to fulfill basic need of person through education. Now question number 14. You are teaching a topic in class and a student asks a question unrelated to the topic. What will you do? Option A. You will allow him to ask unrelated question. Option B. You will not allow him to ask unrelated question. Option C. You will consider it indiscipline and punish him. Option D. You will answer the question after the class. So, Option D is correct here. You will answer the question after the class. Question number 15. If you are unable to get a job of teacher, then you will. Option A. Start giving tuition at home. Option B. Remain at home till you get a job. Option C. Take some another job. Option D. Continue applying for teaching. So option B is correct here. Continue applying for teaching. Question number 16. A teacher can motivate the student by Option A. Giving substantial prize. Option B. Giving proper guidance. Option C. Giving examples. Option D. Delivering speech in class. So, option A is correct. A teacher can motivate the student by giving them uh, suitable prizes. Now, question number 17. If a student does not uh, pay any respect to you then you will option A ignore him option B award less marks in examination option C talk to his and her parents option D debug him so option A is correct here if a student does not pay any respect to you then you should ignore him now question number 18 the aim of National Council for Teacher Education is 
option a to open college of education option b to promote research in education option c to maintain standards in colleges of education option d to provide the grant to colleges of education so option c is correct why um the main objective of ncpe i'll just write it down here so the full form of n c t e is national council for teacher education so the main object of ntc is to achieve plan and coordinate development of teacher education system throughout the country the regulation and proper maintenance of norms and standards in the teacher education system and for matters conducted therewith so their main aim is to maintain standards in college of education now question number 19 kindergarten system of education was contributed by option a dp nan option b spencer option c forrest option d montessori so option c is correct here in 1983 french fried rich fogel german fredolis founded his own school and called it kindergarten or the children's garden so it was contributed by the kindergarten system of education was contributed by uh, fogel option c is correct here now question 20 20 national council of education research and training was established in uh, its full form is ncrt and uh, the full form of ncrt is national council of education research and training so ncrt was established in which year it established in 1961 so option a is correct here now question number 21 ac type tests are not reliable because option a their answers are different option b their results are different option c their checking is affected by examiner mode option d their responding styles are different so option c is correct here because uh, it's also depend on the examiner's mood so that's why ac type tests are not reliable option number 22 a guardian never comes to see you in school you will option a ignore the child option b write to the guardian option c go to meet him yourself option d start punishing the child so the correct answer is uh, option c go to meet him yourself if the gardener guardian is uh, never comes to see you in school so what you have to do is a teacher sh- uh, what a teacher should do is to meet him personally so option c is correct now question number 23 to maintain interest among students in class option a use blackboard option b discuss option c tell stories option d ask question so option d is correct here why uh, if you want your stu- uh, student to be interested in what you are teaching them you must make it interactive like you can ask question that to them and if they answer that will be great or if they don't then you will tell them the answer and explain them why it is uh, so and why it is not so so option d is correct here Question number twenty-four. The purpose of new education policy is option A to de- provide an equal opportunity of, of education to all. Option B to improve the whole system education system. Option C to link the education with an employment. Option D to de-link the degree with education. So the purpose of NEP, new education policy, is 
to improve the whole education system so option b is correct here now question number 25 to raise the standard of education it is necessary option a to evaluate student continuously option b to give high salary to teachers option c to revise curriculum option d to make good schooling uh, school building to raise the uh, standard of education it is necessary to evaluate student continuously by this it will make sure better accountability holding teachers and school responsible for what goes in the classrooms the practice of aligning learning to standard also helps uh, you know it also helps ensure that a higher level of learning is attained uh, guides teachers in process of assignment and help keep them on record so to raise the standard of education it is very necessary that you must uh, evaluate the student continuously now option a is correct here so now question number 26 what is most important for a teacher option a to maintain discipline in his class option b to be punctual in his class option c to maintain difficulties or to remove difficulties of students option d to be a good or orator so um, the correct answer is to remove difficulty or difficulties of students this is the most important uh, you know for a teacher question number 27 why students should play games in school option a it makes them physically strong option b it make work easier for teachers option c it helps in passing time option d it develops cooperation and physical balance so let's uh, give a try play is a important part of child's development and growth why uh, as it ensures the overall development of child such as physical social cognitive development so what will it ensure the three one or uh, three types it will ensure by physical social cognitive development students should play games in school as it ensure first the development of self confidence and a healthy brain second to make child learn team work and communication skills too option uh, third the active engagement of child with their surrounding for meaningful learning fourth the development of cooperation among child by which they learn team work and help their peers to play and learn effectively fifth the development of physical balance by providing them a healthy brain and may making the child able to fit and fight to say so hence it could be concluded that students should play games in school as it develops cooperation and physical balance so option d is correct here now question number 28 family is a mean of option a informal education option b formal education option d non formal education option d distance education so family is a mean of option a is correct informal education question number 29 there is a tension among villagers and you are teacher there what will you do option a you will inform gram pradhan option b you will try to face them option c you will report to police option d you will keep distance from them so option b is correct here there is a tension among villagers and you are the teacher then you will try to face them now question number 30 a teacher can develop social values among students by option a teachers teach, uh, telling them about great people option b developing sense of discipline option c behaving ideally option d telling them good stories so option c is correct here a teacher can develop social values among students by behaving ideally thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more such content and don't forget to like comment and share